the personal story of the general and his wife. David Petraeus was in many respects the public face of the wars, the highly decorated general, often appearing before Congress, one of the masterminds behind the surge in Iraq that ultimately helped bring that war to a close. He then went to Afghanistan, and then the call to head the CIA. Diane with the general as he prepared to return. Are you ready to come back? Ready for the CIA? Well, I feel very fortunate to have been provided such an opportunity to continue to, to serve and to contribute, uh, if confirmed. Taking over the CIA last year, his wife Holly looking on. Married 38 years to his wife Holly, Petraeus met her before graduating from West Point. She was from a long line of Army royalty, her great-great-grandfather fighting in the Civil War, her own father a retired four-star general. Petraeus last year speaking of the young woman he met at West Point. I also met the woman who would become my wife. Indeed, the best decision I ever made was replying, sure, happy to do it, when asked if I would escort a visiting co-ed to a weekend football game. I'll never be able to adequately express my love and appreciation for all that she has done, but I can at least say here this morning, thanks, Hall, I love you. In their 38 years, the family moving 24 times following Betrayus' career, Holly raising two children, and if Petraeus was celebrated for his military discipline, Holly was celebrated for her devotion, often there as the troops came home, hugging the soldiers as if they were family. She now holds a federal role, helping returning service members find financial security, fighting off the banks who prey on them while they're away. But I'm also a longtime military spouse. Army wives have said she's one of us. Just this year, she spoke about her favorite poem the basic and its premise. premise. Is that life is 10% what happens to me and 90% how I react to it. Holly Petraeus has chosen words there. And in recent days, Newsweek magazine publishing a list of General David Petraeus' rules for living on the Daily Beast website. Number five we took note of. It says, we will all make mistakes. The key to recognizing them and admitting them and to learn from them and to take off the rearview mirror, drive on, avoid making them again. It really struck us, Diane. And his loyal soldiers have read all of those. Thank you, David.